there is about 5.18 million people living here in Singapore as of 2011. As water is a basic necessity for all kinds of living organisms, including us humans, Singapore would require a large and substantial clean amount of water, whether for drinking or for industrial use. It is approximated that a Singaporean uses about 154 litres of water, whether for drinking or showering. So how does Singapore meet its water request? Through its four national taps. They are the water catchment areas, imported water from their neighbouring countries, desalinated plant, and finally, Singapore's very own new water. Due to the purity of new water, new water is often used for industries such as for the cooling of air conditioning systems. Only a small percentage of new water is used as potable water. However, new water is not widely received by the public because of its sources the sewage water. Hence, it is important to educate the people about the advantages of new water and the purity of new water so that any misunderstandings would be cleared. Water from the sewage goes through a conventional water treatment. Treated used water passes through microfiltration membranes to filter out unwanted substances in the microfiltration stage. This ensures that filtered water flowing to reverse osmosis stage contains only dissolved salts and organic molecules. Reverse osmosis is the third stage of the new water treatment process. Undesirable substances such as bacteria, viruses and pesticides cannot pass through the membranes. Ultraviolet disinfection is the final stage of new water treatment process. Water from reverse osmosis trains flows to the ultraviolet disinfection units for final treatment. The ultraviolet light renders any remaining organisms inactive. New water is now ready for you.